All right, what is up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Crystal Randomized. We are back at it again. We are about to take on Marty, the ghost type gym leader. Uh, we got demolished by his, you know, underlings for so long. So I mean, you know, we might as well try to take him on. Uh, <laughs> and we're not gonna go back and heal. So hopefully, uh, he's pretty easy to take on. Hopefully, I'm not. I'm not ready for this, but hopefully. Hopefully we can take him on. Why does he have an ante? Why? Why do you do this to me, game? I'm gonna switch to Toad. Because I'm, I'm, I don't want to get fucked up again. Oh, he knows Thunder. I'm stupid. Alright, good, he missed. <clears throat> He's faster than me. He has Outrage. That's not cool. But if I ever catch a wild Ente. Well, if I ever run into a wild Ente, I know I need to catch it. Thunder, Outrage. There's some good moves on Ente. <clears throat> Had to take him out, though. Had to take him out. You're about to bring in Dragonite? Alright, well, I gotta switch to Fire Pup, and then I'm gonna switch to, like... Oh my god. Why am I being just, like, absolutely demolished by these people? All right, so I gotta bring out like Flame Dog because he's got Ice Beam. <clears throat> Anyone with an Ice type move can take this guy out. What? This dude just dipped on me. He's level twenty-three. Oh my god! Good thing I had that training slash to level twenty-one, or at least to level twenty. That's it. Bye bye, Flame Dog. <sighs> Bring out Beetle. <coughs> Hopefully, Beetle's fast enough. There he is. I was debating Beyblade, but I didn't think Beyblade was going to be fast enough. Why did I get more XP out of that than from Entei? I'm going to send out Diglett. So I'm going to bring out Fire Pup. Diglett is ground type, so water type moves will will hurt him. I'm gonna switch Pokemon back to Toad. <clears throat> I'm not messing around anymore. I'm just gonna. I just want to take him out. I just want to take him out. You used Hyper Beam. Okay, at least you dealt 19 damage instead of like a lot. Uh, people are trying to contact me. I've been just recording videos nonstop for the past like three hours. Okay, yeah, you're about to bring out Sun Current. Uh, I can switch to Fire Pup. I think Sun Current would be easy enough since it's a very weak Pokemon. It's a level 25. <laughs> Why? It's a level 25, very weak Pokemon here. Um. I don't think I could take it out on its own. And then Toad is the one that knows a fire type move. So let's switch to Toad. Since Toad basically has like four type coverage right now, four different types. So fire, water. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, I didn't mean to dig. I meant to use sacred fire. Ah, oh, I'm stupid. Oh, well, this may take it out. Nope. That was a critical hit. That was a critical hit. That sucked. That was a critical hit and it dealt like nothing. Alright. Well, that, that, that's that. That's Leader Morty. We managed to beat Leader Morty. Oh my god, we got fucked. <laughs> oh man, we got we got absolutely fucked in a lot of these battles. So I received TM30, which I think is Shadow Ball. Yep. Shadow Ball is good. I use it quite quite a lot. 
Uh, and a majority of my challenge runs, I do use Shadow Ball if I can attach it to the Pokemon that I'm doing the challenge with. It is a very good move, in my opinion. And if you have a Ghost-type Pokemon, the same type of attack bonus on a Shadow Ball is fantastic. I know in my Sword, in my Shield run, that, I, that my like normal play Shield, I used uh, a Chandelure with Shadow Ball. By far. Just wrecked everyone I came across. Alright, so with this we can head on to the next town. Um, I don't know if there are there any more gift Pokemon in this town. So we've got uh, the Kenya and Goldenrod, Eevee and Goldenrod. Oh. Jachini and the Dragon's Den. And we got the theoretical Togepi. Okay. Well, it seems as though we just have to continue onward. Did I heal my Pokemon? Yes, I did. Let me put Flame Bird first, since he's currently the lowest. And with this, we're gonna try to get. We're trying to get. Gonna get to Chuck. I think we might need to have a, another training episode. Where I get to like, I think level 25? Let me check what Chuck's level are. Because I think Chuck right now can just demolish us. Um, it's a normal level Togepi. I'm gonna raise a leap out. Yeah, okay, critical hit? Wow. Well, I have an increased amount of critical hits on that. So Chuck is level 30. Or his level book or his Pokemon. So I may want to uh I'm not switching my Pokemon. Gramble? Cool, it's a normal type Pokemon. Um Yeah, level thirty. Uh Oh man, I do like no damage. Uh, let's switch off to Flame Dog. <clears throat> uh, so I'm like trying to think in my head like what level I should get my Pokemon to. I may want to get them to level 30, like my team to level 30. I don't know. <clears throat> if I lose against Chuck, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about getting them to level 30. Do I have... Did I buy Pokeballs? No, I didn't. I need to go, I need to go replace my supply of Pokeballs. Because I was going to go into that grass above me and start looking for more Pokemon. I think the main issue that I do here, at least in this run compared to like the Pokemon Blue randomized run, is that I'm always looking for new Pokemon in this game compared to in Blue. I basically had my team and I was like, this is my team. I'm not changing it. In this one, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll change it. I'll change it. I'll change up my team. So, those are some things that I think about that probably wouldn't really actually occur. So, let's go ahead and. Well, you're a trainer. I don't know if I went and healed my Pokemon. I think I did. Not positive off the top of my head. I know I like just was. Oh, he has a Zapdos? What the fuck? So now I didn't. Um, he's a Zapdos. Rock type, rock type moves is four times effective against him. I don't have any rock type moves. So I'm gonna have to use Ice Beam. 
I'm gonna bring out Flame Dog for it. <clears throat> Use Ancient Power, which is a Rock type move. Super effective against me. I'm gonna use Ice Beam. A nice type move. Super effective against it. It's got better stats than I do, so... Oh, but I froze it. That's good. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put down Spikes. Since I don't think he's gonna get unfrozen. Oh, am I not able to, like, throw down more than one set of Spikes? I thought I could pull, I thought I could put down a multiple set of spikes. I have to look at that now. If I'm only able to put down one, then it's probably not as good. Oh no, I can do. Yeah, no, it says I could put down multiple layers. It says it's hundred percent accurate. Weird. I didn't realize he only had a Zapdos. I was putting down Spice thinking that he had more Pokemon. I'm stupid. <clears throat> a Chinchow. Electric Water type Pokemon. Go Flame Bird. Let's use Razor Leaf. Oh, this is probably one times damage. Because electric is not. Huh? Oh, I got a critical hit. Oh, and it's a. What? what? Alright. About to use bead drill. I don't keep flame bird out. I don't have a fire type move on flame bird, which kind of sucks. But I have ice punch. That should be super effective. What's your critical hit? Mm, it wasn't super effective, though. I guess my... Oh, wait, no, I got a critical hit in the first one. Okay, more ice punches. Okay, last Dana was defeated. Do, 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 do. More people to fight. <clears throat> you know, I haven't actually come across a Pineco, which I think turns into a Fortress. It does. I haven't come across a Pineco. Oh, you brought out a Squirtle? Uh, so let me switch to Beetle. The... Use Thunderbolt against it, since Zap Cannon is just completely inaccurate. Use Baton Pass? Would it fail? I guess Squirtle's is only Pokemon? Schoolboy Chad was defeated. That's good. I think Pokemon and you are, are pretty. I think Pokemon are pretty. So Beauty Olivia is sent out of Vaporeon. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, you know what? I'll try to zap Ken in this. Oh, I also had Razor Leaf. I could use Razor Leaf. Why didn't I use Razor Leaf? Grass type moves are fantastic against water Pokemon. Not as good as you know your other one, but you know, still. What does frustration do? What what is that move? Mirror moves, you can use Razor Leaf on me, so. Frustration. Frustration is a base power of one. Um, 
and says a normal attack move. The more the user dislikes its trainer, the more powerful a move. Frustration is the move that utilizes happiness in a negative light by rewarding the amount of Pokemon hates the trainer. Um, so a maximum result of one or two and a minimum result of one. So if I almost never use my Pokemon, ever, Keep it in the P so yeah, keep it in the PC. Play for a long period of time. Keep it in frustration. Get this level 100. Well, I actually don't know. I think that would probably still make it like like me somewhat. That's level 100. I don't know how you like decrease happiness of Pokemon. For the most part, Pokemon really like you. Maybe if I gave it like an EXP share, a cargo, so fire type. No fire ground type, right? I think, he, I think he's ground type. Macargo? Or is it Mar? No, it's Mag. Mag. Mag Cardo? He needs Fire Rock. So, switching to. What? A water type Pokemon? Yeah. Let's bring Beyblade out. <clears throat> Oh, ground type move is four times effective. Why is that ground type move four times effective? He's cursed, so his speed falls, but his attack and defense go up. Now that's cool. Does your special defense go up? I think not. Yeah, that's right. So Pokefan Ruth was defeated. Then we have this dude who usually has like just a Pikachu. It may still be just a Pikachu, but wiggly top. Okay. Look at that jiggle. It's a normal type Pokemon. I'm gonna switch to Flame Dog to use High Jump Kick. Use hypnosis. Well, fuck me. I'm gonna try to wake up from this. Okay, he used defense curl. I'm still asleep. So that sucks. He used defense curl. I'm still asleep. This sucks. Oh my god. Is it two to five? Is it one to five turns? Okay, I attack immediately once I wake up. So they changed that from Gen 1 to Gen 2. Oh my god. He just incre keeps increasing his defense. Alright, so we managed to take him out. That's good. Oh my god, okay. Uh, one more dude. This is gonna be the last battle of this episode. It's gotta be. Fuck it, I'll zap cannon. I'm surprised I'm hitting my zap cannon. Oh, well, it's a critical hit, so that's why it died. I'm not gonna switch Pokemon, you're, saying, you're bringing out a Ponyta. But I will now move to Beyblade. I, yeah, I'll move to Beyblade. I keep forgetting that I'm playing a randomizer with random moves, so. You most likely don't have a fire move, and I was incorrect about that. Bye bye, Beyblade! Bye bye! You were dead! I didn't mean for you to die, but you just had to. I'm bring out Flame Dog. Because he knows Surf.
So my Moltres is now level 19. I'm about to use Vaporeon, so I'll switch back to Flame Bird. And I should just be able to raise your leaf you to death. <laughs> I would Zap Cannon, but Zap Cannon has a very low chance of hitting. <clears throat> I like how your Vaporeon has Frustration. Well, every Vaporeon will have Frustration. <clears throat> Hopefully I get a critical. If I do, it dies. If I don't, I will die. Oh, didn't get a critical. Bye bye, Flame Bird. Send out Fire Pup and use Magnitude on it. Oh, we got Magnitude 8. And with that, that should be the end of this battle. Well, Sailor Eugene was defeated. And with that, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know I'm enjoying playing the game, and I hope you guys come back for more. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.